as part of the activities that marked the 2022 revised framework by regulations for voting by internally displaced persons, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission has reiterated his commitment in ensuring inclusivity in electoral processes. The INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubo, disclosed this at the validation of framework for voting by internal displaced persons held recently in Abuja. The report. At the validation of the revised framework and regulation for voting by internally displaced persons, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, says his commission will ensure that no eligible Nigeria is left out of the electoral process on account of displacement or disability. As far as practical, no Nigerian is disenfranchised on account of displacement by emergency situations. Finally, to align the framework with the national policy on internally displaced persons 2021. The boss who debunks the claims attributed to a section of the civil society organizations of failing to display the voters' registration, which is in Tadum, with the 2022 Electoral Act. Professor Yakubu, who appreciated partners and stakeholders for their support, however, assured Nigerians of a comprehensive display of a register in all what local government areas as entrenched in the Electoral Act. At a media briefing yesterday, the Commission was accused of failure to display the voters' register as provided by Section 19, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022. This claim is incorrect. What the Commission displayed for claims and objections in our local government area office nationwide for a period of one week from 15th to 21st August 2022 was not the entire register of voters but the list of fresh registrants at the end of the fourth quarter of the continuous voter registration exercise covering the period 11th April to 31st July 2022, as has been the practice for several years. We wish to assure Nigerians that the Commission will display the comprehensive register in all the 8,809 wards and 774 local government areas and area councils nationwide as envisaged in Section 19, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022. Also, the zona sensitization and candidate colloquium on electoral matters, Dr. Aisha Tujubri Duku, who stressed on the need to improve on the guidelines for voting by internally displaced persons, added that the commission should make efforts to work on the lessons from previous elections. The policy document proposed by ANIC to guide the conduct of IDP voting operations and bring the IDP communities into the voting net is worth applauding and support from all stakeholders. There is need to also improve on the framework and the regulations and guidelines for voting by internally displaced persons which will drive IDP voting operations for the 2023 general elections. The Commission should draw lessons from the 2015 and 2019 experience and efforts made and also consult with knowledge holders at state and national levels and also in consideration of international best practice. Also, the country director, Sarah J. IFES, has this to say. INEC should be assured of our readiness to continually partner with the Commission in achieving its mission of serving as independent and effective election management body committed to conducting free, fair and credible elections for sustainable democracy in Nigeria.